Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Let's play Shadowgate Part 6. And if you notice anything, we're still at the depths of the castle, but I feel like I forgot something else. Uh, we're just gonna have to do a little bit of backtracking. Uh, maybe I should go this way. Uh, nearly through. Oh man, I gotta answer another riddle. Riddle. I am a fire's friend. My body swells with wind. With my nose, I blow. How the embers glow. Dost thou know? Bring me the answers to my riddle, and I shall let you pass. Uh, what could it be? Uh, okay. That makes sense. What do you want to use this on? I'll use it on the Sphinx. Using a bellows on a Sphinx, that sounds horribly sick. But don't get the wrong idea, it was just a quiz. Yeah, keep that torch lit. Oh, it's that map there, I might want to open it. Hey, yeah, something here. It looks like a dildo! Um, well, not exactly, it's more like a rod. Anyways, let's just go back down. Uh, go over this way. Oh, maybe not this way. Um, this way? Yeah, that's the way. Ooh, lightning. What should I use? Let's use the rod. Use it here. Suddenly, the sky seems to be on fire as a bolt of pure lightning strikes the rod. You are startled to see a skeletal hand rise from a hole that was formed at your feet. Okay, I'll take that. The wand is in hand. As you take the hand from the skeletal hand, it begins to descend. The hole then closes up as if it's never been. Whoa, that is so fucking freaky. We just open the bag and take what's underneath. No need to take the bag with us, right? Let's take some gold coins. Uh, let's open that big pot there. Or not. Then again, there's nothing really there, so we'll just stick to what we got from the bag and be on our way. Oh wait, there's something else I forgot. I uh, gotta do a little bit of backtracking. It won't be a lot, trust me, I mean it. Uh, I guess I have to use Humana again. Mm. Oh yeah, never mind. I didn't really need to do the Humana spell. I just gotta find the area I need to go. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's... We gotta cross that bridge there to the right. And I know how we're gonna do it. Let's drink this. Bottle 2 will work. Begin to rise in the air. Perfect. We could use that. Oh no, a snake. What should I use on the snake? Um... Um... No. Is it? Okay, there it is. The wand I got from that skeletal hand. The snake begins to shake and shudder. Is it just your eyes or is it shrinking? Oh, it's shrinking, alright. Ooh, that looks awesome. A staff of tremendous beauty. I must take it. And believe it or not, that's actually the Staff of Ages. Or what's supposed to be making up the Staff of Ages. Oh well, I guess all we have to do is go back to that area. Finally! 
So a lot of backtracking we have to do, but hopefully we'll get there sooner than later. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I gotta go that way. This way? No, not that way. Wrong. There we go. go. This way. And this way. And this way. And this way. Oh, can I move on? Suddenly, the beast began to shudder and their eyes began to glow red. The gargoyles, angered at your presence, spring from the, their frozen state and rip you to pieces. There's not a left of you to even feed to the birds. Okay, so I gotta use Motari again. Oh wait, not Motari, Illumina. That's how you get past the gargoyles. Uh oh. Gotta use another torch. Oh, that was close. Okay, something I needs to go in that well, so let's look for what we can put in there. Uh, I know it's a big coin. You need to throw a coin in a well, that's pretty obvious. And as soon as you throw the coin into the well, a huge wind erupts from within it. It reminds you of the small dust devils you see in the autumn months. Okay, let's see if we can should jump in the well then. The swirling winds carry you down the deep well and set you gently in the cavern below. You stand above a beach looking down upon a river. Yeah, that looks like a very peaceful river there. What do you want to use this on? After the gong sounds, a specter materializes right before your eyes. The ghostly ferryman doesn't look friendly. You hear a faint voice ask for a fare. Okay, yeah. You want a gold coin? Surely you can use that. The ferryman takes the coin and gestures you to board quickly. Okay, let's go then. You climb aboard the tiny raft and soon reach the opposite bank. A stone skull stands against the fireball, screaming silently. For some reason, you get the feeling you're standing on sacred ground. Yeah, that looks very sacred, alright. Uh, maybe we should use another torch, just in case. There's gonna be a puzzle here that might take a while. Oh wait, I have to actually hit use. Okay, that's good. Okay, something needs to fit in there, and I think I know what it is. I just have to look for it. As a talisman, I need to place... Where am I gonna put it? What do you wanna use it on? Uh, use it this one. The artifact, known as the Bladed Sun, is now secured and in place. Okay, I gotta look at the uh, scroll one again. Because that's what the puzzle is. It tells me about that. Okay, well, I gotta look at it now. Five to find, three or one. One gives access to Bladed Sun. The silver orb to banish below, the staff of ages to vanquish the foe, joining to the golden blade, the last to invoke the platinum horn. Okay, what does that even mean? Uh, uh, this is going to be hard to figure out. Um, use the horn, perhaps? Okay, you have to use the horn. Okay, let's... Let's go in then. The cavern that you have entered is by far the largest your eyes have ever gazed upon. Oh shit, it's a warlock! Oh my god, it's Rosie O'Donnell! From the depths rise the most powerful creature that has ever existed, the Behemoth. 
Your stomach, stomach knots up as you stare at this new horror. This beast is indeed incredible. You wonder for a moment, how can you defeat a creature such as this? Oh, gee, I wonder, um... Oh god, how do you destroy something like this? Uh, maybe if I use the blade on the orb. Okay, wait, that's not right. Maybe I gotta use the orb on... Where's the staff? Where's the staff? Where is it? Where's, where's the fucking staff? I know I took it with me. Oh, maybe it's on top. Yep, it is. Nothing happened. And you know what? We're gonna finish this battle later. All I have to do is just put three things together, take out the behemoth, but... We'll do that in the next part, as I don't have enough time. This is the Bonga signing off, saying goodbye, and see you all later.